Today I want to show you all how easy it is to connect the Hookverse to a digital camera or a DSLR camera. You'll need a 3D audio microphone, and today I'll be using my Hookverse. Yay! Lastly, you'll need a cable that connects the Verse to your DSLR. Hook provides this really cool cable made for non-Bluetooth devices. It's got a micro USB on one end, right here, and then a split pair of cables on the other end with a mini USB and a standard 3.5 millimeter stereo input. All right, so I'm gonna take this micro USB cable and plug that into the port that would normally be used for charging. So once I do that, the connector actually flips a pin on the jack and turns the headset into a wired microphone. That solid red light, that indicates that the hook verse is now a wired microphone, sending audio straight along this cable down to this split. So now I'm gonna take this 3.5 millimeter stereo jack and plug it into my DSLR. I'm gonna take the stereo input and put it right here into the microphone jack. So the newer models of a DSLR, like this 7D my buddy has, all I have to do is click info a few times and you'll notice the top, there's, an, there's a levels meter, right? Earlier today, I went on a bike ride to uh, Venice, Venice Beach, and also the Venice Canals and a few other hot spots in Los Angeles so that I could uh, compare video captured with the hook verse and without the hook verse. The verse comes with these microphone wind socks, and what these do is they actually uh, dampen the uh, effects of wind on the microphones. If you don't have these and it's a windy day, and um, it'll, it'll actually cause the mics to make a popping sound. So I put these on to uh, cover for that, pun intended. and he called it Venice of America. So now there's this resort in the middle of Southern California where people could experience Venice. Everything's great. <laughs> 